Okay, we are looking at problem number 58, where we're to use summation notation to represent this sum. And this is a geometric sequence that's given in the book. And to, for a geometric sequence, we're always interested in finding our common ratio. Um, if we know we have a, a geometric sequence, one easy way to find the ratio is to take the second term and divide it by the first, and we get negative 3 on 15, or our ratio is negative 1 fifth. The next challenge presented here is we have to figure out how many hidden terms are represented in the dot, dot, dots. So I'm going to continue multiplying by negative 1 fifth to get from 3 fifths to negative 3 on 625. The 3 is not very revealing because, of course, it's going to stay a plus or minus. It's going to stay a plus or minus 3. But we need to get from 5 to 625. Just some quick computation because we're not far from it. 5 times 5, of course, 25 times another 5 gets us to 125 and times another 5 gets us to our 625. So I have two terms between here. I have an on 25 and I have an on 125 before we get to 625. So we're dealing with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. And it's 6. So I'm going to go ahead and make the formula for the nth term of our sequence. The nth term of our sequence, as, as we've seen before, we start at our first term, and we start multiplying by our ratio, negative 1 fifth. How many times do we multiply by that ratio? How many steps are there from the first term to the nth term? N minus 1. That gives us the basis for our summation notation, where we're going to go for n equals 1 up to 6, 15 times negative 1 fifth raised to the n minus 1. And we've got it.